Hefty out of you, y'all. Let me tell you something. I, th today, I am confessing that it's gonna be a good day because I do feel like whatever you say is what you're gonna what you're gonna get out of life and things. But um, I just have, <laughs> girl, girl. Listen, listen, listen. Don't look at me. Like, look at my soul. Look at my spirit. Okay. First, I gotta go get donuts because my kids have. A field trip to the Polar Express movie uh, and I am indebted to Izzy's class Izzy and Jojo's class two dozen donuts and some and some mittens or whatever whatever <sighs> Jordan has the flu I had to go to a parent teacher conference before school started And I have to go see my lawyer today. And I'm just gonna change my attitude and breathe in three times. didn't help me at all let's go get these donuts oh what type of world is this tell me why girl in what world does dunkin donuts run out of glazed donuts now i'm at Publix. love this place and uh, we're about to go hunting for some glazed donuts look at god y'all look at god coming through I took the last of the glazed donuts at Publix. Thanks, Publix. I love you. Ah, the dreaded scale. Yo, I lost 10 pounds. I was 140. I lost 10 pounds. I tell you what, you need to lose weight. Just let a man stress you out, okay? Let, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Gonna get y'all out of the car. Oh my gosh. Wait, since when do 
did Daddy start wearing Puma? How long are you gonna how long are you gonna have them? Love you, baby. Um, I am currently sitting in the car. I have been uh, in court all day long. I got there at 2 and got out at 6.30. I want to say any, anywhere between 6.20, 6.30. And then didn't get back home till about, I don't know, like 7-ish. I would say 7-ish. Um... But on account of, you know, the reason why I go to court, child, I thought it would be a good idea for the kids to hang out with him whilst he's here. So that's what they're doing, and I'm just biding my time waiting um, for them to be done. Which is so crazy because I feel like I get painted as, as this bitter black baby mama and I don't like it. A bitter black baby mama who is just angry and I don't think after a long day in court a bitter angry baby mama would even be sitting outside patiently waiting without any problems. But <sighs> who am I to say these things? And um... I'm just I'm, I'm I am glad they have this moment, but I'm tired. I got to get back home to Jojo who has the flu So she is missing this occasion and I know she's gonna be completely upset about it But they will be leaving in a couple of weeks to spend the latter part of the holiday with him anyway So I will have a moment to figure out what I'm doing for the new year for the new year for the 199 So um it's just been a very long day and I was telling some folks that the one thing that this whole experience about court teaches me, and I'm not going to go into details about what we discuss in court, that's not what I'm here for. And I'm also not here to say anything bad about anybody, but I am on this platform because you guys watch me and I am a relatable person in your life a mom even if you're not a single mom I'm a mom that you can relate to who who goes through like common life things and just and it's not like these are the most horrible things in life to talk about dun 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 this is real life this is a real life vlog okay I'm just saying for anybody who needs to hear it um but the thing that ev that I've learned through going to court, right? Over anything, a speeding ticket, whatever, child. But especially in this circumstances, okay? For the amount of time that I've been going through this circumstance, is that nothing can be taken away from you if you already got it. Um, nothing can be taken away from me, from the person that I am, from the mother that I am, from the, you know, the friend that I am, from the uh, public figure that I am because I'm here and it's mine. At the end of the day, I go home to my kids. When I wake up, I see you guys. I upload videos and I'm thankful for all of those things. I'm thankful for all of those things. Um, the only thing that affects me is what I allow to affect me. And that's something that, that just happens when you're human. And I will say that like in the past, when I first got thrown into the courts, oh my God, Send it to the dungeon off with a head, right? I would get so riddled with stress over nothing. It's like somebody saying, your shoes are dirty, but you still walking around in your shoes. You're happy with your shoes. They are your shoes and nobody can take them off your feet unless you give them your shoes. That's your choice. But what I'm trying to say is, is that I relinquish all stress I relinquish all stigmas. Uh, I relinquish all things that try and really uh, defame my character because, number one, I can't carry around that weight. I can't carry around that stress. And I just need to be like Beyonce. Beyonce don't care. Beyonce don't care. That's why she's successful in life, because she don't care. And she must be doing something right if people constantly keep talking about her but yeah hopefully um 
this new year will bring in some fresh air, new light, and less drama, I should say. But I'm always gonna be here on my platform, you know, being relatable and not being scared to be relatable, okay? Nothing can be taken away from me, it's mine. Hello. How was everything, guys? Good. What? Okay. Why? Mm. I'm just tired. You're tired? Yeah, Daddy asked him if he was tired, but he said no. Okay. Well, we're going. Uh. Nice. 